and welcome to SideQuest. With over 4,000 of VR apps outside of the official Oculus Store, SideQuest is a way for you to access a huge amount of experimental apps, demos, game ports, early access games, and prototypes. And of course, support the developers by playtesting their games. Many of SideQuest games eventually graduate to the official Oculus Store, but with SideQuest you get a chance to play them first. In this video, I will show you how to install and set up SideQuest using nothing but your phone. It's a very easy way to access all the SideQuest games even if you don't have a PC. So now nothing is going to stop you from exploring all that SideQuest has to offer. You'll be able to browse and install apps on the go without the need to connect your headset to your computer. And you can even sideload games wirelessly. Using SideQuest has never been easier, so let's get right into it. It's important to know that this method only works with Android phones, such as smartphones and tablets, but not iPhones or iPads. Unfortunately, Apple don't allow sideloading onto an Android device such as Quest. Even though we will keep trying, there is very little we can do from the developer's standpoint. You can still access SideQuest website on your iPhone or iPad browser, meaning you can at least search, install, and review App Lab content. So if you're only interested in App Lab games, you don't really need the SideQuest app. You can simply go to your browser on any device, including the the browser in your quest and if you tap on an app lab game it will redirect you to the oculus website and you can install the game wirelessly the same way you would any other official oculus game but sideloading vr games using your phone is something only android devices can do so if you would like to try out some experimental apps prototypes and early access games and you have an android phone then you're all set other than your phone and your oculus quest or quest 2 you will also need a usb c cable to connect your headset to your phone. In my case, I'm going to be using Samsung S9 Plus and a USB-C to USB-C cable. You can start sideloading using your phone in three simple steps. Enabling developer mode, installing SideQuest app on your phone, and connecting your Quest to your phone with a USB cable. As an optional step, you can even sideload apps wirelessly, and I'll explain how to do that as well. Our first step is enabling the developer mode on your Quest or Quest. Too. If you already use SideQuest on your computer, then you probably already have the developer mode turned on. Otherwise, if this is your first time setting up your SideQuest, you can do this step directly from your phone. Open your browser and type in this link, developer.oculus.com slash manage slash organization slash create. You will also find this link in the description. Make sure you're logged in with the same account you use with your Quest. Next, type in the name for your organization. Don't worry, you don't have to actually create any apps, but this step is required to turn on the developer mode. It doesn't matter which name you choose as long as it hasn't been taken yet. Click submit and agree to the electronic non-disclosure agreement, and just as simple as that, your organization is created. Please note that you will also need to verify your account using a credit card and a phone number. Fortunately, most accounts have already been verified, so it is likely that you will be able to skip this part, but if not, it's just a simple security measure. Now that your organization is set up, you can see it right here in this drop-down menu, which means that you have access to the developer mode. Open your Oculus app, go to the settings, make sure you're connected to your Quest or Quest 2, expand the settings of your Quest, and then tap on more settings. Now you will see the developer mode appeared right here. Tap on it and toggle the switch. That's it. The next step will be to download this SideQuest app directly from the Google Play Store on your phone, for free, of course. Simply type in SideQuest in the search bar. As of now, the official name of the app as it appears in the store is SideQuest Beta, and it should have SideQuest LTD listed in green below the name. That's how you know that this is the official app, so go ahead and install it on your phone. When you open the app for the first time, allow permissions to photos and media. Now, next step will be to connect your phone to your Quest 2 with a cable, and you need to make sure that your Quest is turned on. You will get another pop-up in your phone asking you to allow SideQuest to access Quest 2. You can mark this checkbox so that SideQuest app always opens when your Quest 2 is connected to your phone, which makes sense, right? Then tap OK. You may also get this pop-up when you need to select SideQuest Installer as the default app for this USB device. After that, you will need to put on your Quest and allow all permissions that will pop up in your headset. First, you will allow USB debugging and then allow access to data. These pop-ups may appear multiple times in your headset and in your phone, so 
so make sure to allow them all before proceeding. If you've done all these steps, then your SideQuest logo will show this little green dot, which means that your headset is successfully connected to SideQuest and you're ready to sideload some games. Tap on any app that you'd like to sideload and then tap on Install to Headset. You will see the progress bar right here. You can also search for and install App Lab games. Even though you can open SideQuest in your browser, this SideQuest app is optimized for your phone and it makes it so much easier to navigate and search for games. Just click on Download app. If it says Oculus, then it means that this is an App Lab game, which will then open in a browser window and you'll be able to install it like any other game from the official store. SideQuest is the official discovery platform of App Lab games and our SideQuest app makes it even easier to browse and install them directly from your phone. However, sideloading games is only available through this app if you want to use your phone and now you know how to do it. In addition, your App Lab games will show in the library alongside the official games, but to find your sideloaded games, you will need to go to apps and in the drop-down menu select unknown sources at the very bottom. All your sideloaded apps will be there. We also highly recommend that you create a SideQuest account. Having an account will let you do tons of additional things like add games to your wishlist, create libraries, message developers, write reviews and many others. The process of creating an account is described in this video linked in the corner. You might notice that sideloading apps using your phone via USB cable might quickly drain your phone battery and to avoid that there is a way to eliminate the need for a cable and in the next step I will explain to you how to use SideQuest app to sideload games on your Quest wirelessly. So establishing a wired connection explained in the previous step is the first thing you will need to do. Once your Quest and your phone are connected and you have this green dot appeared by the SideQuest logo, tap on this Wi-Fi icon at the very left and then tap on enable Wi-Fi. During this step it is important that both your phone and your headset are on the same Wi-Fi network and your Quest is awake. I usually just hold it on my forehead but you can also put a sticker on the sensor so that your headset doesn't go to sleep when you take it off. After you tapped on Enable Wi-Fi, go back to your headset one more time and allow all the permissions in the pop-ups. This is very important. If you don't allow permissions in your headset, it will not be recognized by the app. This step basically grabs the local IP address for the wireless connection so that you don't need to type it in manually here. See, it appears right here below and all you need to do is tap Connect. Again, remember to keep the sensors of your headset active. If the Enable Wi-Fi button doesn't work for you, and the IP address doesn't show here, it is possible that your phone doesn't have the feature called On The Go or OTG. Even though most modern devices support it, you need to search your phone for this function and if you don't have it, then you won't be able to automatically grab the IP address and you'll need to simply put it in manually. You will find it by going to your Wi-Fi settings in your headset, tap on the network you're connected to, scroll down to Advanced and your local IP address will be listed under IP address. After you tap connect here, you can disconnect your cable and the green dot magically stays on, meaning that you are ready to sideload apps on your headset wirelessly. The bonus of this method, aside from the fact that you're getting rid of the cables, is that now you can keep your phone charging while browsing through and sideloading VR games. However, please remember that if you restart or power off your headset and then turn it back on, it will reset the connection and you will need to connect connected by cable again before you can re-establish the wireless connection. So essentially you will need to repeat the steps 3 and 4. And again, remember that you will find your sideloaded games by going to unknown sources in your library. And that's it! Now you know how to sideload apps on your Quest directly from your phone using a cable or completely wirelessly, as well as browse through and install App Lab games. But the SideQuest app can do much more than that. If you click on the three dots at the bottom and go to Tools, you will find tons of different settings that you can change on your Quest, from graphic settings, foveated rendering and video capture size, to screen refresh rate and even texture resolution. There are so many 
many things you can do there, but I will tell you more about those options in our next video. So make sure to subscribe to SideQuest. To learn more about SideQuest mobile app, to see answers to frequently asked questions and more, check out this video description in the pinned comment. And if you experience an issue not covered in this video, please visit SideQuest support and we will be happy to help you. And if you want to learn how to install and set up SideQuest on your PC, there is a tutorial for that as well linked in the description. We're excited to welcome you in our community and we hope that you're going to have a blast exploring SideQuest. See you soon and happy VR discoveries!